All right, it's spring in Colorado, and we are never going to shy away from an opportunity to practice our shotgunning skills, get ready for that duck season coming up this fall. And I recently purchased this Dual Flyway 80, and there wasn't a lot of information on it. So I don't have any affiliation with the company, but I did want to show you exactly how this thing operates because I think it's pretty cool at a great price. Let's check it out. All right, so this guy right here is called the Dual Flyway 80. And I walked into my local Cabela's and I saw a, I think it was the 50 version of this. And all it is is the amount of clays that it can hold, the 80 between the 50. And uh, I just thought this seemed like too good to be true product. You've always heard of like the Champion workhorses, um, the Caldwell trap throwers. Uh, there's a bunch of different brands that do it, but I hadn't really done a ton of research on this Dual brand. Um, so they had a deal on their website for the Flyway 80. I think I paid around 300 bucks and people didn't really have a ton to say about it. And there was no videos on the website that I could really decipher. And uh, I wanted to get a better look at the components and how it works. And so that's my goal in this video is just kind of show you exactly how this thing works, how it throws. And then you can make a decision for yourself if you feel like this is gonna help you with your shotgunning. I think it will, and there's some very cool features. So first thing I wanna do is just kind of break down the unit itself here. So number one, it comes with these nice wheels here these nice uh, rubber wheels. So you can wheel it out to pretty much any location that you need to, as well as this handle back here. And then it has some optional feet down here at the bottom. So you can take the feet off if you decide, maybe that'll give you a little bit more of an angle upwards. Um, I put the feet on because I like clays kind of crossing and a little bit more flat. Um, but either way, that's kind of what the structure is built on. And then the actual thrower itself here is very standard like you normally would see. It has the uh, big ring here so that you keep your legs and feet outside of the ride at all times. Uh, so this big arm doesn't come back and swing and get you. And we have obviously the throwing arm right there. Got these little brushes that help keep the clay on. And then you've got your uh, big clay holder here. This will hold 80 clays. So this first part will hold 50. And then you see the additional piece here. That's what makes it the Flyway 80. So it'll hold 80 clays. Um, basically, this thing can work off a couple different uh, ways. It has got a uh, regular extension cord um, that will plug into a remote if you decide you want to use the remote. Mine actually came with the remote, so that's what I'm currently using. Um, or you can use the standard foot pedal. So you have the option to do both. And then this connects to just a standard battery. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook it up and then I'll show you kind of all the inner workings of it up close. And then we can kind of uh, see it through a couple of clays and decide what we think of it. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the standard hookup for this unit. Um, so basically you have these two leads coming off of the dual and you basically just hook your ground, your positive. At that point, this thing is pretty much ready to go. You do have a switch right here on the back of the unit that is on, off, and disarm. And I'll explain that here in a minute. But basically, just to connect the unit, all you need is that. Now, if you were going to connect the optional remote, um, you have this plug here. And this plug is also what connects to the foot pedal. Um, but it's just a standard outlet plug. And this is what is basically my entire wireless remote. Um, so I'm gonna plug it in, and that is for signal. And then on that, there is both a positive and a negative. And those positives and the negatives will connect to my existing connections. So I just clip them on these actual uh, bigger clips for the battery. And then we have power to the actual remote as well. Um, I just have the remote clipped onto this little box, but now this box is ready to go. And I believe you can program uh, multiple boxes to one remote. Um, but that essentially is all that's needed for the hookup. And now this thing's ready to be turned on. All right, so now I've got this thing tilted on its nose and I wanna talk just briefly about this switch. So on is obviously unit on, off is unit off, and then disarm. So essentially every time this thing cycles, it re-pulls the spring. And that spring is loaded until you disarm it. So when you first setting up, you're gonna drop it down to the on position and then you're gonna use it until you're done. 
and then you'll flip it to the disarm position and that will disarm the actual spring and then you can finally end with turning it off and that way nobody gets hurt. Just wanted to explain briefly that right there. I'm gonna flip the switch. And I don't recommend you dry fire this, but I'm gonna show you just really quick what it looks like. So on the remote, I have an A and a B, and if I hit A, it'll fling a clay. So now in order to load this, I'm gonna disarm it, and then hit the button on the remote. and it disarms the launching arm. Once you're in that position, you just flip the switch back to the off mode. When it's in off, you can load it with clays. So you got my clays here, going from the top. There you go. We're gonna come back down here, we're gonna flip it to on, and then you'll see it cycle one clay Oh, there's a clay loaded. All right, so now we have a clay loaded in the Flyway 80. I have no idea how far this is gonna go. I hope this field is long enough. But then all I'm gonna do is just hit this A button and off we go. And you're ready to immediately cycle the next round. Both of those clays just landed right next to each other. So this is a very consistent trap thrower and uh, it comes out beautifully and it's a perfect uh, shot on a bird crossing and you can move all around with this remote and you don't have to worry about being right on top of the birds. So now I'm gonna walk out here from the trap thrower we're gonna take a look at these clays and then get an idea of just about what the distance is uh, that they were thrown. But I chose to do this on a grass field um, at a school because it's just a little bit softer for those clays to come down and land. And I don't think we broke any, um, but I wanna show you just how accurate this thing is. We only had one that ended up a little bit off course, but the rest of them, man, they're all just right there. All right, so I have one, two, three, four. Those are the first two that I shot right next to each other. And the fifth one's right here. So you can basically see all of these clays are in the exact same vicinity. And we definitely did not break one. So that feels good. Come and pick them up. And then if we look up here. Trap thrower is right there. So let's take a walk back and we'll figure out how many paces it is and uh, we'll know how far they're being thrown. Sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two. So I counted about 62 paces from this to where the actual clays landed. Um, so I'm gonna call that about 50 yards, maybe a little bit more. Now, you can adjust the tension on this, but I've got it adjusted about midway, so I don't want it to throw them super, super far, but let me show you how you can adjust it if you want it to throw further. My unit is armed right now, so I'm not gonna get involved here, but basically, that right there is where all your tension is, is this spring down here in the bottom of the Flyway 80, and that leads back to this little threaded rod. If you look right on the back of the unit, there is a handle here, and you can actually twist that to the right for more tension and to the left for less tension. Um, but either way, got it in a pretty good spot right now where I don't necessarily need it to throw any further, but absolutely could if I wanted to make that tension a little bit tighter. Here's our remote transponder. Nice thing about this too, you can cover up those buttons and you can never accidentally press them. But I like being able to take this with me, clip it onto my belt loop, and then I can move around the trap thrower in any direction. The clays are still thrown in the same spot, so you only have one spot to clean up. But with the remote, I can shoot from behind, 
I can shoot from over here and have a crossing shot, or I can even shoot, um, you know, at, at various angles all the way around like a bird coming at me. Um, so I'm gonna give you a couple views of crossing birds just so you can see what those look like. All right, I got my thrower here. I'm standing about 15 yards off and I'm gonna pull the trigger and that thing's gonna give us a nice path here. Here we go. All right, here's some birds coming in at us. This is kind of a cool shot because normally you wouldn't be able to do this unless you're on a trap range, but now with the remote, you can do this. Look at that consistency. Here's one more. And again, if you're talking about being good at shotgun shooting, nothing better than having clays land in the same spot absolutely on target this flyway 80. all right so for a little over 300 bucks you can come out with uh you know a trap shooter with your friends play annie oakley you can do target shooting um, the clay pigeons on this thing is super super consistent um, i love how easy it is to use i love that the remote came with it i got it on a great deal Remote included, it was just a little over 300 bucks that was shipped and everything. Um, so absolutely a great tool to help you get into wing shooting, uh, just get you better with your shotgunning skills. If you get something like a tactic cam or uh, um, a shot cam, you'll be able to track your shots a little bit more accurately. Um, you can even try working on like a red dot mounted uh, shotgun, which is pretty cool. But either way, it's a great way to get you out into trap shooting without spending a ton of money. And you could do it on any public land, any flat land, you know, maybe a, a farm or private land you have. It's just super easy to not have to go somewhere and pay somebody in order to, to access their facility where you can just take this out into a national forest and start giving it a go. Um, so either way, I'm really impressed with the do all. I think uh, the, the couple things to point out, um, I bought this with my own money. Um, I'm not sponsored by Do All. I, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but what I will say is that when I do come across a product that I think is a great value, um, I like to talk about it. So the Do All Outdoors, there's not a ton of videos on this out right now. There's a couple videos you can find around, but I guarantee you this will probably be one of the more detailed videos on the unit and I just feel like it's fair to show um, the quality of this and uh, I haven't had it for super long but I can tell you it's going to last quite a while. All right so that wraps it about up. If you guys have any questions about the Do-All Flyway 80 uh, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Um, I've got plenty of photos and videos of us using this um, but just generally wanted to show you how consistent it can be. Uh, the distance that it's able to throw and just really give you a great idea on the quality overall of the unit. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like and subscribe the video down below and uh, we'll catch you next time on Catching Colorado. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more relatable content, you can check out these videos right here. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures.